For more videos visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, let's do this problem where they want you to find the forces in members LK, KC and CD. So LK, KC and CD are right here so you could cut this truss right here and use the method of sections. If you cut the truss right there, then you get the rest of the truss. And you are going to basically treat these forces as if they were external forces. So you got this force right here. You got a force going this way. And we're going to treat this one, this force going that way. So that's basically what we're going to do. We're going to cut it right here. Let me redraw this truss over here. Alright guys, so now we're going to add the forces, this is 40 kilonewtons and as you can see we have a vertical reaction at point G, so this is D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K. Now it's important to note, the reason why I picked the right side of the truss instead of the left side of the truss is because G can only have a vertical reaction instead of A which can have a vertical and horizontal reaction. There's only one variable on this side and it's easy to find too. Now let's call this reaction a G F Y. Now we got this force of 4 newtons and we got another force right here. So. We cut it and each of the members that we're trying to find, we're going we're gonna to treat them as external forces acting on this assembly. The reason why I picked the right one is because there's only a vertical reaction at G, whereas A can have also a horizontal reaction. Let's find the vertical reaction at G first. To find the vertical reaction, you basically do the sum of the moments, let's say clockwise is positive, sum of the moments at A is equal to zero which are equal to 2 times 20 plus 4 times 30 plus 6 times 40 minus Fy times 12. That's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. So with this formula, you're basically finding all the moments here at A, and you know that this creates a moment, this creates a moment, this creates a moment, and this Fy creates an opposite moment. So when you solve for Fy, you get that Fy is equal to 33.33 kilonewtons. Now that you have Fy, you can do the sum of the forces in the Y is equal to zero, and you know that minus kc minus 40 plus fy which which is found is equal to zero so when you solve for kc you get that it's equal to negative 6.67 the fact that it's negative it means that we were wrong in assuming that it was going down it's going up so let me erase it and correct it up that's what it means so it's positive 6.67 going up let me put corrected because i already changed it on my diagram so now what you want to do is the sum of the forces in the x you also got this cd and you got this kl so what you can do is you can pick the sum of the moments at g let's say sum of the moments at g. Why are we using the moments instead of sum of the forces at x? Because we have two variables in the x, but if we pick g, cd is not creating any moment, but kl is, so that becomes much, much easier. So sum of the moments at g equal to zero, which are equal to 40 times 6 minus 6.67 times 8 because it's going up, 
just assume clockwise is positive so kc is creating a negative moment plus kl times 3 so when you solve for kl which is creating a moment in this lever arm turning it this way kl is equal to negative 62.2 kilonewtons now the fact that it's negative means that we were wrong in assuming that it was going to the left so we're going to correct it and it's 62.2 going to the right and now what you can do is you can find CD very very easily by doing this sum of the forces in the x are equal to zero so you get that KL minus CD is equal to zero so if KL is 62.2 then CD is also equal to 62.2 so CD is equal to 62.2 kilonewtons now all we're missing is tension and compression so let's just look at them KL is going this way which means this is going this way which means that KL is in compression KC is going that way which means this is going this way, which means also in compression. Just KC. Compression. And CD is going this way, which means it's going this way, which means it's in tension. Final answer, final answer, final answer, and FY, they didn't ask you about final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.